and Zimbabwean innovator and inventor Maxo Chukumbozo paid a courtesy call showcasing his latest invention of the world's first soft powering vehicles and motorbikes that run just on radio waves. In a world that often dismisses the dreams of the ambitious, Maxwell, a high school dropout from Zimbabwe, has carved out a narrative of resilience, innovation, and defiance. Born in 1980 in the high-density suburb of Budiro, Harare, Maxwell faced financial hardships that forced him out of school at just 14 years old. Yet, his story is not one of limitations but of boundless possibility, fueled by an innate brilliance and an unrelenting curiosity for engineering. Maxwell's journey into the realm of innovation began in the late 1990s when he crafted gadgets from scrap materials, including a radio transmitter, digital navigator, and turbine engine. His passion was self-taught, driven by a belief in his God-given abilities and the visions he claimed to receive at night. In 2009, Maxwell's focus shifted to green energy, leading to his groundbreaking development of the microsonic energy technology. Imagine a car that never needs charging, a vehicle distinctly different from Tesla or traditional internal combustion engine cars that run on gasoline. The implications of this technology are vast. With Maxwell's car, the Seth, you're not just looking at a vehicle, but a moving generator capable of powering your house. When driving from white back home, you can connect your power cable, allowing the car to supply your home with 15 kilowatts of power. This car promises an unlimited driving range, top speeds of up to 220 kilometers per hour, and the ability to serve as a power source for your home, all without ever needing a charge. Developed in collaboration with the Chinese automaker Seth, the vehicle not only addresses range anxiety, but also offers an alternative energy source during emergencies, particularly in regions with unstable electricity grids. The official launch of these microsonic energy-powered vehicles and motorbikes is set for February 10, 2025, with the support of Zimbabwe's president, highlighting a moment of national pride and technological progress. This event is not only about unveiling new vehicles, but also about demonstrating Zimbabwe's potential to lead in global innovation, particularly in sustainable technology. However, Maxwell's journey has not been without peril. He faced significant opposition, including being poisoned in the U.S., an attack that resulted in the death of his business partner in January 2017. We were poisoned at that time. Dr. Ted didn't make it. He died in January 2017. I, by the grace of God, survived, Maxwell recalls. Despite threats to his life, he remained resolute, motivated by a belief in his vision and the backing of Zimbabwe's leadership, which encouraged him to continue his work in his homeland. So, what is microsonic energy technology? It represents an innovative leap into the realm of energy harvesting. This technology claims to convert radio waves, which are omnipresent in our environment, into usable electrical energy. The concept has ignited a mix of fascination and skepticism within the scientific community and beyond due to its potential implications for energy sustainability and its challenging nature against established physical principles. Maxwell Chickenbutso's technology is centered around what he refers to as the Microsonic Energy Device, MSED. This device is said to harness energy from radio frequencies, which are measured in nanovolts, a minuscule amount of energy. According to claims, the MSED uses proprietary methods to capture these radio waves and convert them into direct current, DC, electricity which can then be used to power everything from homes to vehicles. The technology aims to tap into the background energy present from astronomical bodies like the sun, earth, and moon through what is described as ambient sonic energy or longitudinal waves. 
One of the most compelling aspects of this technology is its promise of energy independence, particularly for regions with limited access to traditional power grids. The idea that vehicles or homes could power themselves using radio waves, which are abundant and free, could drastically alter energy consumption patterns globally. By potentially reducing or eliminating the need for fossil fuels or even traditional renewable energy sources like solar or wind, microsonic energy could contribute significantly to reducing carbon emissions, aligning with global efforts towards sustainability and combating climate change. The technology has been demonstrated in various settings including showcasing a car and motorcycle that supposedly run without the need for charging, powered solely by radio frequencies. Such demonstrations have caught the attention of media, governments, and inventors worldwide, pushing the boundaries of what's considered possible in energy technology. However, the fundamental challenge lies in the laws of physics, particularly thermodynamics. The energy in radio waves is incredibly low, and the efficiency of converting this energy into usable electricity on a significant scale is questioned by many in the scientific community. Current technology for radio frequency energy harvesting, RF, is limited to powering very small, low-energy devices. There is a notable absence of peer-reviewed studies or independent validations of the technology's claims. While some reports mention validations by researchers associated with the inventor, these have not been widely accepted or replicated by other scientific institutions. Chikambutso has noted difficulty in patenting his invention due to its unconventional nature, leading to reliance on trade secrets rather than public documentation, which adds to the skepticism surrounding the technology. Posts on platforms like X reflect a divided opinion, with some users expressing amazement and others questioning the scientific feasibility of such claims. This public discourse underscores both the intrigue and the skepticism that microsonic energy has garnered. Maxwell Chikambutso's microsonic energy technology stands at the intersection of innovation and skepticism. While it offers a tantalizing glimpse into a future of free and sustainable energy, the scientific community calls for rigorous testing and validation to substantiate its claims. If proven effective, it could revolutionize how we think about and harness energy. But until then, it remains a technology watch with cautious optimism. The journey of this technology, from concept to widespread application, if it happens, will likely be one of the most scrutinized in the history of energy innovation. History reminds us of figures like Nikola Tesla, whose once ridiculed ideas are now foundational. Maxwell's claim of capturing ambient radio frequencies to power devices is a bold step into a future where energy could be harnessed from the air around us. Beyond automotive innovation, Maxwell has introduced a self-powered television that operates without external power sources and a green power off-grid machine capable of generating half a megawatt of electricity. These inventions aim to bring clean energy solutions to areas without traditional power grids, potentially revolutionizing energy access in Africa and beyond. However, Maxwell's path has been fraught with challenges. Not only has he faced scientific skepticism, but he has also survived assassination attempts, including a poisoning incident that led to the death of his business partner. This adversity underscores the resistance from powerful industries whose business models might be threatened by such disruptive technology. Additionally, Maxwell has struggled to secure patents for his inventions, with many institutions dismissing them as violating physical laws. Despite these obstacles, Maxwell's work has received official support from Zimbabwe's President Emerson Mnangagwa, setting the stage for a significant launch on February 10, 2025. This support could be a turning point not just for Maxwell, but for Zimbabwe's place on the global technological stage 
embodying the spirit of self-determination and innovation that African leaders like Captain Ibrahim Traoré of Burkina Faso have advocated. Maxwell Chicken Butso's story is a testament to the power of vision over adversity. His inventions, if proven and scaled, could disrupt not only the automotive and energy sectors, but also inspire a new generation of African innovators, proving that even those dismissed by the world can change it. His journey illustrates a potential future where Africa leads in technological innovation, harnessing its intellectual resources to solve global challenges with local solutions. As we watch this story unfold, it's clear that Maxwell isn't just building gadgets. His building hope and redefining what's possible.